guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the Nerd City booth here at C2E2. And I am standing here with my good buddy Brandon from Man or Monster Studios to take a look at the awesome selection of toys you have on display. How you doing, Brandon? I'm having a great time here, man. C2E2 is awesome. Total blast, right? Yeah, yeah And I, I see you have a great selection of stuff here. And I, I kind of just like to talk about some of the things you got here and, and show everybody at home what they're missing out on here cool. at C2E2. Do it. All right, so let's start with the Warlords of War stuff. Now, I've, I've looked at the Bognar figure already, yes. which fantastic figure. It's so much fun. And I see you got some new stuff here for that. Yeah, uh, well, I've got, uh, first of all, the C2E2 exclusive Gamma Meltdown Bognar, um, which is just a, a variant that I made for this show. He's cast in UV reactive uh, resin, so he glows under black light. Oh, Pretty excellent. cool. Very Pretty cool. cool. Uh, and then also debuting at C2E2, this uh, is Clobber, my second Warlords of War figure, my follow-up to Bognar. Um, same kind of you know interchangeable magnetic articulation, um, but this is this is a good guy now. Like we, we got the bad guy with Bognar, and right. now you got one of the heroes. Awesome. Actually, can I just grab this guy over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because we got we got an open right. one right here, and you can kind of show like uh, all the pieces are magnetic yeah. on there, so they're completely interchangeable right. with one another. You've got full articulation and a handmade resin figure. Like nobody's doing anything like this. Not to brag, but <laughs> <laughs> you brag <laughs> away. <laughs> But again, yeah, so you've got uh, 10 points of articulation, all fully interchangeable magnetic parts. He's got magnets on his back, so you can give him extra arms if you want, um, you know, or, or accessories. But really playable for, for a handmade art toy. Right, and they're fully interchangeable with Bognar, yep. Yep. so and you can kind of make toys. your own crazy creations with it, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. The kids really dig it too. They... Oh, they do. I've been watching the kids play with these things all day. It is so exciting to see. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really great. It's really great. I, I love the look on their faces. And I mean, adults too. Like, there's just there's something about it that really connects with people in, in, in this super nostalgic sort of way that, uh, that takes them back to being a kid. So, you know, seeing dads with, with their kids and they're like, oh man, this, this reminds me of my old He Man toys. And, and, and everybody gets excited. And it's just, it's been such a great time getting fan reaction. Awesome, incredible. Yeah, yeah. So you got more than just action figures here for Warlords of War too. I see you got comic book, you got prints. You yeah. want to tell us a little bit about that? Okay, well, um, the big news is uh, Warlords of War is going to production. Uh, so instead of just making these by myself in my garage, uh, these are going to be made, you know, full factory production. Oh, excellent. So, yeah, yeah, they're going to be um, they're going to be a little bit different. I can't really give too many details right now. It's still pretty early, but it's happening. And I, the plan is to package them with mini comics like Masters of the Universe, Sectars, you know, old, old school 80s uh, toy lines that came with a little bit of comic that gives you some of the story, the characters, and, and, and whatnot. So I've produced the first two mini comics um, Mutant Muck Menace and Ghost of Tohoku, both of which feature, uh, which feature Clobber and, and Bognar, respectively, in, in the stories. My first two characters that have been released. Not the main characters, mind you, they're supporting characters, but at any rate, so I put out this full-size comic um, as, a, as a convention exclusive for this summer. You can only get it at the cons, but I had some really amazing people work on it, like Tim Seeley, uh, who wrote the, uh, the 30th Anniversary uh, Classics mini-comics. Oh, right, for Masters of the yeah, Universe. Okay. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, you know, Brian Lovell, um, Corey Hampshire, just had some, some fantastic people working on this, doing the artwork for it uh, with me. I wrote it with my buddy Eric Lemons. Um, and so, yeah, I, I've, got, I've got this here. Um, no, I'm going to back up a sure, little bit. Sure, sure. Sorry, man, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first two mini-comics in, in a full-size uh, full uh, print comic. For the first and only time you're going to be able to get this. Awesome. Um, and there, there's also some pinups in here by some really talented artists like Jenny Frizen and Ramon Villalobos and, you know, pretty stuff. It's, awesome. uh, it's, a, quality, it's a quality little book. So, yeah, I've also got some prints uh, that I made up, uh, mostly of the covers and, and the pinup artwork. Uh, I, I've got the original artwork for all the books in there for people to look at and fans to kind of like experience you know, the behind the scenes sort of right, right. sort of uh, element of it. Uh, I've got my Bognar t-shirt um, that uh, based on a design by by the awesome Chris Fachone um, yes. did, a, did a really amazing job Such with this. Such a cool vintage look to it too, yeah. that's what I love. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's got that sort of that red heather, you know, sort of faded but really soft right. t-shirt. It's a great sleeper shirt. 
Um, my uh, my wife loves it. She sleeps in it all the time. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Wow, so you got a lot of really exciting things, it sounds like, coming up for Warlords yeah. of War. You got oh, the mini yeah, comics absolutely. coming, you got the figures. Uh, so you got some other different things here, too. You want to talk about some of these? Yeah, besides Warlords of War, um, I, I also do a, a number of other toys. Uh, today with me, I've got a Ray Gun. Uh, I'll show you this one. So uh, it's Ray Gun. It's Ronald Reagan. Reagan. You know, <laughs> it's sort of a it, it's a kit bashed uh, from from Masters of the Universe body with uh, with a Ronald Reagan head, and again fully articulated <laughs> magnetic articulation. And each one of these is totally unique. Like this one is uh, is the Tin Man, uh, Heartless Honcho is his name. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, you know I've got uh, I Ron Man. I Ron Man. I Ron Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so. I, I paint those up. Each one is, is totally unique. Uh, those are a lot of fun. I also do a line called Motumus, yes. uh, which is Masters of the Universe mashups. Yep. Uh, which I, I, I took a look at the Robin mask, which I love, and these are equally as cool. Thank you, man. So this is Troopor. Uh, I guess you could probably figure out where that came from. <laughs> this little thing called Star Wars or something. I don't know. Uh, but my brand new one is Vador. And uh, Vador is a uh, you know, five and a half inch Darth Vader in Masters of the Universe style, classic you know Masters of the Universe style. With he's got a real vinyl cape. He's got a little magnet in his lightsaber hilt where uh, where you can clip on his his He-Man power sword lightsaber. Right, if I can right. reach around here. Just oh yeah, sure. <laughs> and that just clips on right there. So he's got the removable lightsaber feature. A lot of nods to the vintage '77 figure. Fantastic. Oh, and I, I didn't mention Metgar. Um, that's my, my other C2E2 exclu C2 -E2 exclusive. Uh, made in collaboration with Big Man Toys um, uh, from London. All the way across the pond there. Uh, me and Lee worked together on this. And I retooled it with, uh, with my magnetic articulation on his sculpt. And made this like Mecha Godzilla version nice. of, of Tree Guards. Right. Mechgar. Right? Excellent. Very yeah. cool sculpt yeah. on that one too. I love oh, that. Man, Lee did a bang up job on that. Super awesome. Excellent. So, man, you got Warlords of War, you got the Motumus, you got a lot of great things, a lot of awesome stuff happening here at C2E2. Yeah. <laughs> so, where can folks find out about this stuff online and kind of keep up on your figures and maybe get some for themselves? Cool. Well, I, I'm on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash uh, Warlords of War, uh, ManorMonsterStudios.com. I also have a Facebook page for Manor Monster Studios, and that's kind of my my central uh, my central presence, right? You can link to everything from ManorMonsterStudios.com. Also, WarlordsOfWar.com is uh, the blog site specifically for uh, for Warlords of War. Everything Excellent. Everything in there. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, Brandon, thank you very much. Hey, thank you, it's man. a pleasure talking to you. Good luck with everything here. Awesome. It's awesome. Thanks so much. From C2E2, this is Pixel Dan reporting.